Here's my first failed surprise party attempt and glow up. Welcome to Hot Girl Summer Glow Up. Woohoo! Um, don't know why I chose this through my intro, but let's get started, baby. <clears throat> oh, this is not... Okay, my camera is definitely making it <laughs> look worse. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to first part of the glow up. Last night I tried to fake tan. I'm about to go shower. I don't want to like flash you guys, but this is the color before the shower. I also <laughs> put the face oil. I'll show you what I use when I go in the bathroom. And I feel like it didn't do anything because I put moisturizer underneath the face oil, which I never do. So I feel like it was like a barrier blocking it from like doing something. I also took a brush and did the like contour tricks. And I did the contour tricks last time where I put it here on my lips and a little bit on my nose and I didn't do my jawline though because that's like really really harsh but I did my jawline this time this is what I look like I will say in in the mirror I don't look this patchy it's just the camera likes to pick up I'm also gonna go get my hair trimmed or cut I have two styles I'll put up what I was thinking I can't decide because Devin's hair is like my trim I would like just trim my bangs and get some more layers here and there while this is just full-on trim so I'm kind of wanting to do like an in-between just so I don't have like not that much of a difference to my hair yeah I don't know I just kind of want more bounce to my hair Ooh, okay I thought my hat was my tan uh, silhouette so luckily okay Anyway, I just look really scary, so I'm gonna also get Lainey her rabies shot because it's hot girl summer. It's hot girl summer for Lainey. Yeah, that's the plan for today. I will show you guys what my hair looks like. I will then probably do some fun makeup. I might try the Madison Beer makeup look. I don't know. I haven't done that video. I mean, I've always wanted to, but it's like not that popular anymore because it's been like out for like two months, but we're gonna do it anyway. We're gonna do it anyway. Okay, I'm gonna be really late, but I wanted to show you guys what I use. Okay, never mind, that's not gonna work. I was gonna do my hair before this clip, but whatever. So I just showered. Luckily, the contour on the face has faded. So I use the Bally Body Extra Dark Tanning thing. It comes with a mitt that's in my shower. I'm also just gonna get closer because I feel weird, but it looks fine. It definitely like added more color to my pimples. I know a lot of people put like a little pimple patch over all their pimples and then they put fake tanner on or like the drying lotion thing just so that it doesn't go over that. But then I feel like you just have a bunch of white dots everywhere. So I just much rather have my stupid shit accentuated. So I got this in like their little set. I think it was $60 for a mitt. And I think that's a lot better because instead of buying everything separately, it's more expensive. So anyway, this is their face tan water. And I think this is okay. It doesn't last too long. It gives just the right amount, but it could be better. It doesn't like make you look like a patchy mess and like accentuates dark spots. It just like subpar. I feel like it could have more pigmentation to it, but there is that. My camera really does not care to focus. And then the ultra dark, I've used this like four times now. And honestly, I kind of like it. It doesn't streak onto my bedding, especially this. It doesn't come off on my bedding. Light blue pillowcases and there's not one streak on there. I also wear long sleeves to bed. So that in case my body likes to streak, it won't. For wearing like a long sleeve, it didn't stick to any little part, maybe like right here, but that part you don't really like see. My streakiest part is always my wrists. Um, they just can never look good whether I blend them or not. This is pretty good. I'm sorry. That's like decent. Oh, I did it again. This has been happening to me every single time. How do I stop that? I don't know what I do. I like it. Uh, let's see how long it lasts. I think I have used it like four times, so who knows? It is starting to feel a little, a little empty. What I usually do is I'll take a flashlight and I'll like... If my flashlight's strong enough, I can't see through this, sadly. Okay, I'll try it again, but it's not working right now. Anyway, I'm gonna go though, because I have to get her to her appointment and I have to eat. So I'll give you guys a little update after the hair is done. Hot girl summer has ended. So, haircut didn't go so well. I went to my boyfriend's hairdresser that he always goes to. She's really nice and like she cuts everyone's hair in the family and I just felt like trying it because my usual hairdresser is a little expensive and I just, literally I love her, but she trimmed my bangs, really like trimmed this much hair 
just this and like a trim in the back but like nothing 45 dollars and i had like my hair washed and shit obviously so i just did not feel like spending 45 dollars on that so i just decided to try out something new and she didn't wash my hair because i had to take Lainey to a vet appointment and i thought i'd maybe have some time to come back home and drop her off but i didn't and i had to leave my car on so like i didn't want to do that for too long so we just you know said we'll just cut it like this my inspo you guys saw my inspo it was literally devin carlson and this girl with like layers but like i just wanted a little bit of layers and the bangs and my hair obviously to be trimmed But I also did tell her Cindy Crawford is my number one hair inspo and she knows who Cindy Crawford is because like that was probably more in her time of like keeping up with the times so I got this I don't know what to really call this <laughs> it's like a shag honestly is like the best I could describe it and she just cut off way too much hair like my boyfriend didn't warn me that she cuts shorter like you don't have to go back as soon but I literally wanted to keep my length like if this was like down here I wouldn't be complaining I don't know she literally went like this <laughs> this hair right here was down to here she literally just went <laughs> oh man I don't know I'm not I'm not talking shit on her technique. I'm just didn't expect this much to come off. Like I feel like I have like no hair anymore. Like my hair was literally down to here. I mean, she did show me she's gonna cut off like like that much. So maybe that's like literally what she told me. I think she really did cut me off guard when she cut off a lot of my top part of my hair for like the layered look. Like, I don't know how to explain it. I guess I expected something different. It kind of looks like Suki Waterhouse. All right, that's like the only reason why I'm happy about it. Like genuinely like kind of liking it because Suki Waterhouse's hair is literally this long and like the same shaggy like thick layering right here and then like thin down here so honestly I think once I wash my hair because my hair's filthy my camera is slanted Suki Waterhouse vibes but if I didn't like Suki Waterhouse then I'd be screwed right now I also feel like this haircut aged me by like five years <laughs> 35 just kidding i'm not 25 i look like i'm 25 right now tell me not i look like those like rich 25 year olds that have like some fashion position and they're on their vacay this is what they're wearing they always wear things like this all right i'm done anyway i'm gonna go um patrick's coming over dude i look so ugly <sighs> literally my hair is dirty my face is dirty i've had this makeup on all day and i went to work today too and i just look Fucking disgusting. <laughs> I'm about to go shower. I just wanted to update you guys. This video is being postponed. So I will come back in a week because tomorrow I'm leaving for Salt Lake City to see one, the city and the school I'm hopefully going to. The only thing that's getting in the way of that is like financial things because you know, I have to like figure out all that stuff. So like the last two days, like when I did my haircut portion of this video, that was two days ago, I started it at like the busiest time of my week because after that I was working and then after that it was Patrick's graduation, which was yesterday and it was all day. And today I was working, so I just don't have the patience to do a glow up and my fake tan's kind of fading, which is really annoying. I just wanted to update you guys. Uh, I will come back fake tan again and I just wanted to show you guys what my hair looked like because the last time I vlogged, was when I just got my hair cut, but now like it's dirty again. This is basically what it looks like natural. It definitely looks a lot more fluffier and like shinier whenever I just cleaned it, but, or washed it, what? But right now it's looking a little gross. So I really like it. And she said if I have any issues with like matching each side, like to make the layers more precise, to go back to her. And I might do that. I might, I don't know. Summer glow up. I'm back from Utah and literally I have the biggest pimple everywhere. I just came home last night and I was like, I'm gonna pop every pore, every pimple on my face. This is how it's going. I look so good, but I just went to Marshalls, or I mean TJ Maxx, to get toothpaste because my favorite brand of toothpaste, you need to try it. It's the best. If I remember to, I will put a picture up of it right here or like the brand name. Amazing. 
I got it for four bucks. It's completely natural, nothing bad in it. And I literally have noticed a difference in my teeth. They feel super, super clean and it's really powerful. The red Colgate expensive toothpaste, the all red, and then it has like the white cap. It's like the total whitening one or something like that. That has the strongest mint flavor or like just toothpaste flavor. And that would like burn my tongue. While this brand I like, is that version but like a good version like a clean toothpaste so i went there to go get it and they didn't have it so i'm really sad but i did get two other toothpastes this is what happens when you go to marshall's okay i just opened this one it didn't come like that so i saw this brand called grin it's made in new zealand so i thought i would try it because of that it was only four bucks and it's cruelty free fluoride free and like has all the organic things this one is a strengthening one something weird really small though i didn't realize it was this small so maybe this one would be a good travel size one and then i've always loved moon i love their floss i have their toothbrush um i had kendall jenner's whitening pen before she was annoying i thought i'd try this and also evan mock i think is like a campaign person for this stuff and i love him so this is the whitening stain removal fluoride free lunar peppermint very aesthetic so i thought i'd try it this one was a little more expensive it was six bucks but i think this toothpaste originally is like $12 or something like that. No, that is a little bit expensive for me, so I just got it. And it was unopened. I made sure all of these were unopened. And then some extra things I didn't need. I got the Amica Texture Gloss. I need all the gloss I can get for my hair. This was a little expensive. It was $12, but this tiny bottle was like $30, so I was like, okay, fine. Fine. I got this mascara because I love it and I haven't seen it in a while. My sophomore year when I had the longest lashes, I always used this. It was only like three bucks, so. And then these were two things I didn't need and it is why my lips look this bright is these two. These were unused, again, I made sure. They are the Lipstick Queen little like color changing lipsticks. I've always wanted these two shades and I just never got them because they're like $20 each and that's so stupid. So I got them for $5 each and I was like, okay. I'll do that. I got the Morning Sunshine one, which is the yellow, like an orangey tint, but it's actually more of a peach and it's really, really bright. And this is the Frog Prince. This is the OG. This one's more of like a red, hot pink, darker color. But I thought these were fun. This is a mix of both of these on my lips. <laughs> my lips were bright pink, literally the color of this packaging not a good look um so we shall see how i like these there you go there's the morning one it's like a pinky peach and then this one's at the top so it's more of like a red cherry color anyway that's my little intermission haul ta-da hot girl summer glow up oh my god i look terrifying i think i did do a clip before this Maybe I didn't, but I'm back from Salt Lake if I didn't say that already. <laughs> uh, it's been a week now. I decided to finish off the Hot Girl Summer Glow Up this week because tomorrow, or actually no, tomorrow's Wednesday, Thursday. Okay, I feel like I need to explain my appearance a little bit before I start talking, but at the same time, I don't know. Okay, just to explain my, exper my experience, my appearance... I just fake tanned again. I had to let my skin breathe because I did fake tan right before Salt Lake and I need like a break. Thursday is my best friend Kim, her surprise party. So this girl, Kim, if you're watching this, this girl has been planning her 22nd birthday for like a week now and we already had it covered and she keeps like freaking trying to ruin our plans and i was like excuse me i will be doing the glow up makeup portion of this video for thursday night this video has been so chaotic and it's gone on for two weeks i'm so sorry okay well it is 1 a.m so i'm gonna go to bed i think the next clip you guys will see is me dyeing the ends of my hair pink a couple of my ends i'm not gonna do all of them but all right bye it is her surprise party today, and right now me and Kaylee are gonna go um, get the keys from my friend Erica. Uh, her apartment is where we are hosting it, and 
Kim's also working. So we have to first get the keys from Erica before she goes into work. And then we're gonna come to the mall to pick out Kaylee an outfit to come back to get the keys to Erica. But right now we are doing the pink in my really oily hair. Can you tell it's like very oily? So I'm gonna do all of the hair stuff right now so that I have time to let it sit while I go walk my dog and eat breakfast or something. I wish I had a better setup in my bathroom. We're gonna do that much at the front. That's how much I have left because last quarantine, or last quarantine, we had one quarantine, but in quarantine, um, I bought this and I used it all over my head because I had highlights, so like, I didn't really do anything. I'm not gonna put it anywhere else. I'm just gonna put it the blonde. Wow. Right now it's 9.46, I have to be here out of 10.30, so I'm not doing makeup or anything. I'm gonna go walk my dog, and now I'll see you guys when we are decorating the house. Cause I will just bring my vlog camera with me, why not? All right, the hair was a fail. There's no pink, it's just like shit. But this is Kaylee, and we went to a very shitty family dollar. <laughs> a very shitty, it was so scary in there. But we got these little puffy things, I don't know what they are. And then we got these, we got some markers, balloons, a little tiara for Kim from Party City, and what was it from Target? Is this our stuff? Yeah. Oh, I got a stupid pink tank top because it should match my sweats. Oh, I'm getting sidetracked now. I brought these, haha, <laughs> very excited. I think the oh, fluorescent's here. Then we found a birthday girl banner or princess. Is it party princess? Birthday princess? I don't know. We got these as like props. Birthday. I'm so excited. And then we we're gonna make her a little like banner. So we got supplies for that shit. Back to Target though. I thought I'd document this day for Kimmy. <laughs> this is her birthday banner from Target, which literally the dollar store had the same one, but different shades and it was well worth it. And I regret getting that one for five bucks, but we got these really cute flower and then we got little um, rainbow things, because it's Pride Month. Okay, I'm so annoying. These are her balloons. We got 22 and three other balloons to match it. I'll show you guys once we set up, but this is what we're working with. <laughs> you like to do Yeah. Indian snacks. Bye. There you go. That is what we have done. There's this. These are her fun balloons. There's a little heart. And then we got the balloons that we wasted our time and look at them. They're like deflating, so sad. But there's the banner Kaylee made. So cute. We got the snacks over here. These are just what we brought. Hopefully more people bring some and then the cutest banner and tiara for her ever. Yay. And then we did this and these. Oh, and the birthday banner over there, but she'll see it when she comes in. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, guys, I left my camera in my car like an idiot. I've never done that, so I'm like really annoyed. But as you can see right now, I'm trying to recreate my hair from, is this breaking? Is that my hair? That's my hair. Um, I've been trying to recreate my hair from yesterday, but only problem is my hair is clean today, like super clean. I just washed it. So there isn't much texture, so it's just really soft and it's kind of just like falling. I look like shit. My mascara did not want to come off last night, but um, I ended up not doing the hairstyle because my hair was way too soft and I didn't have the time either because Kim was coming and I had to do her makeup. So I just quickly did my makeup. Um, I had no time to show you guys the hair. I think I just left my hair in like two tiny pigtails. <laughs>
Oh, hey. What happened to the summer glow up, you say? I don't know her. <laughs> I clearly don't know her. Um, I look like shit. I just went to Disney Springs in the morning with my friends and got my best friend her birthday outfit. I didn't get it, but we went with her to get it. I came home and laid on my, my fluffy cheetah print pillow for two hours. That is the end of this video. You guys did not see a final look from Thursday night last week. This video is horrible. I literally tried so hard to make this video perfect, vlogging every moment, um, and then not showing you the final product, which is the whole point of this video, and you didn't even see it. But this whole video is a fail. My pink hair didn't work because I stupidly didn't wash my hair beforehand and then just rinse out, because then it would have been a little bit more pink, but I had to like wash my hair and I wasn't really thinking because I was really rushed. I also picked the worst time to film this because I faked hand twice for this video. Nothing came out of it. Um, both times were right before trips or something important. Like, here's pictures of what I looked like. I didn't even get good pictures either. It just was a fail because she already knew it was a surprise and of course she appreciates it and stuff, but you know, like it's still not fun um, when you know your best friend knew it was a surprise the entire time. It just sucks. So, I am butthurt, but it's fine. This video is just a fucking fail. I will do just a one day glow up, get ready with me. I will not be doing this like spanned out four day glow up because it turns into two weeks because I have so much shit going on all the time. It's just really annoying. Here's my first failed surprise party attempt and glow up. My hair really looks like shit. Well, thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my channel, whatever mess of a channel this is. I will try and get my shit together, but honestly, it's kind of hard. So your girl has an interview with Trader Joe's on Thursday. It is now Monday. Tomorrow is Kim's actual birthday. There's just a lot going on. So let's hope I, I get it, but then that means I'll have two jobs and moving away to college and saying bye to my boyfriend forever. Everything's great. No, I'm not having a mental crisis. <laughs> okay, seriously though, bye. I really cannot look at myself like this anymore.